we made sure that equality was on the ballot. We've been fighting for equality and amending the Elliott Larson Civil Rights Act here in the state of Michigan for 40 years. The Elliott Larson Civil Rights Act, ALCRA as it's known in our state, is the protections that uh, protect people based on sex, religion, marital status, those type of things. And we have tried to amend it to include sexual orientation and gender identity. And for 40 years, it was never even allowed to come out of committee. There is only so much any one organization can do. People used this building as a bit of a headquarters for the region and came in and did phone calls. Yes! Okay! Mis dos comunidades o no han sido priorizadas. Lo que yo quería era demostrarles a a los políticos que mis comunidades insisten que las minorías como la comunidad hispana y la comunidad LGTB es, son comunidades que, que también tienen derechos. It was a historic night for the Democrats on Election Day. They were able to flip both chambers of the legislature. Now they're saying that opens the door for them to get a lot of the things they want to get done. As soon as I knew that we had the chambers and we had the governor, we knew. The state Senate is expected to make a historic move this week to protect LGBTQ plus rights in Michigan. This is government working for the people and it's powerful. Our community has come a long way to get here. I know many of you have come a long way and opened up your hearts and minds in the last years since this long journey began. It's time to write the final chapter. You all have an opportunity now to be a part of it. And when this vote comes on the board, you will tell generations of people yet to come that they have a future too. When you live in a world where discrimination is persist a persistent reality, it makes you feel like you aren't worthy to live your dreams. This legislation will show LGBTQ people, particularly LGBTQ people of color, that they can fulfill their full aspirations. And that is cause for celebration. Passing in the House today, expanding the Elliott Larson Civil Rights Act. The bill now heads to Governor Gretchen Whitmer's desk where she is expected to sign it into law. Michigan will always always fight to protect that freedom, to start a family, to be safe, and to live in this state with respect and dignity. This day has been a long time in coming. You could say, to quote one of our own Detroit native Lizzo, it is about damn time. Without the Hate Won't Win Coalition, without those phone calls and knocking on those doors and all the social media pushes that all of us did together, this would not be possible. Si tú organizas a tus comunidades y las haces visibles, haces que los políticos sepan cuáles son las necesidades de tu comunidad y todos nos unimos, es muy posible que lo obtengamos. Reunirnos como uno solo hace lo imposible posible muchas veces. We'll know the big ones. We'll see the big wins. But there are going to be hundreds and hundreds of smaller victories lives changed, lives saved across the state because of the effort of the coalition and because we finally have some power.